one five. Mike, Mike, uh, your IFR clearance did just uh, pop out. If you're ready, to, if uh, you want to copy that one. Okay. If I'm five, Mike, Mike, clear to the Richmond Airport via the pack. Actually, uh, the Raleigh one departure. Victor one fifty five. Lima, Victor Lima, Romeo India Charlie. Maintain three thousand. Expect uh, one five thousand one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency one three two point three five. Squawk five three three one. Five Mike Mike cleared Raleigh one departure. Victor one fifty five Lima Victor Lima. Up to three thousand. Uh one five thousand ten minutes after one thirty two thirty five on departure five three three one on the squawk. Looking for that last fix. Uh, it was, uh, after Lima Victor Lima is just direct Romeo India Charlie. Alright, Lima Victor Me Lima then direct. November five Mike Mike read back, correct? And uh are you ready to taxi now? Five Mike Mike ready to taxi with Delta. We were five Mike Mike runway two three right taxi via the left turn on Juliet hold for the taxi Foxtrot. Left on Juliet hold Foxtrot five Mike Mike. Four. TBM five Mike Mike monitor tower one two seven point four five. Monitoring tower five Mike Mike. Plenty of crap there. Awesome. Number nine one five Mike Mike runway tower runway two three right line up and went. Monitor for wait five Mike Mike. Number nine one five Mike Mike one three one zero zero eight gust one seven. Fighting 270, runway 23 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 270, 5 Mike Mike, on the go. What is it? Ground return or weather? Uh, turn out the joint ground actuation. Ground. It Charlie is. Cross runway okay. 23 left, and contact awesome. ground point nighter on the other side. Awesome. Charlie cross through the dead area there, too. We might be able to hold at LVL and get some action right there, all right? So sure. that's what I'm going to ask him for. And then we can stay in the hold, slow down, and we can look around and find the spot where we're going to get some action. Okay, coming up through 10,000 lights, pressurization. Pressure's good. Checked. And this is where, in quality control, for the mama, this is a mama thing. You hit this one at 10,000. And that brings up the green line. Okay. okay. So when you do a turn now, you don't throw her against the window. <laughs> it rolls half bank, okay, up at cruise. Okay. Once you're down below 10 ETC, once you make it the 25 degree turns, right. so we'll back through on the 10,000 descent check, it would be off, all right? But that's a cruise control thing for the ride. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a keep mama asleep thing. That's all I'm kind of interested in. We're up here playing, going through weather and everything else, and if she stays asleep during the whole ride, it was a perfect flight. Thing. So what's the temperature here? The ISA or the outside temperature is minus one, it's freezing. Minus one. When do you put your icing equipment on? At what temperature or less? At two, plus two, or actually five and down. Five and down. So we're coming up on some clouds here, right? Right. So you don't go in, get ice all over your airplane and go, I should have put my equipment on, okay? You need to go, know that when you're going into the clouds, the separator's gotta be on before you get there. Treat this airplane as anti-ice. So wherever someone roll me a whiskey, right contact. And I'll show you how to uh, do it. This is how you run. This is how you run your icing equipment in this airplane. You always turn on the ignition first. To on. Cancel the caution associated with the ignition. That goes on first. In case anything comes off the prop when you turn it on, it goes in the engine. There ain't a turf powered airplane in the world commercially that does not operate with the ignition on and icing. It doesn't happen. It's just this private pilot stuff. Then you turn everything on from right to left across the board. Windshields, props, uh, and then airframe, Romeo just to Whitney test, and then cancel the caution, Alpha, separate is on, Lima. that's what that is. Now watch the boots, what are they doing? Outers? Okay, you should see the inners. See the second light? Seven seconds, seven seconds. Now they'll go away, okay? So if we come back here, I just want to show you some of this real quick while I got a chance. All right, here's what's on right now, okay? When the prop blinks green, what happens? There's five blades out there and there's two heating elements and it shifts from one heating element to the other heating element, all right? And that's going to happen when we see the boots fire again on the second cycle. We're going to watch this prop de-ice thing. In Washington, uh, TBM uh, 15, Mike, Mike. Go ahead. 
Yeah, we're out doing some training today with this new uh, fancy radar. Any chance we can go in the hold at uh, LVL there for a little bit? Uh, there was, uh, there five mile bike rider, uh, holy southwest of Lawrenceville on the inbound radio left turn. Uh, one minute leg, is for the clearance at, uh, let's say 1730, is that good enough? Okay, any chance of a uh, 10 mile leg just to give the radar a little bit of action? Approve is a question, if I buy Mike, uh, 10 mile legs is approved, and uh, if you need a longer EOC or a shorter one, just advise. Okay, yeah, we'll probably look for a little bit more time on that. Uh, Mike, Mike, what are you showing for weather out there now? Well, right now, uh, they're going to see pockets of uh, light to or moderate to heavy precipitation starting just north of Lawrence. They're here at about 15 miles. So it's a good stretch of length of 75 miles. Uh, aircraft have been flying through it, especially low. Uh, tops around that area was around 20 and above. Uh, and there's another cell off your left side there, uh, moderate to heavy precipitation, probably tops around the same moving eastbound. Copy that, bye, Mike, Mike. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay. What should I tilt be at 15,000? Zero. And this is what you get on the 100 mile range. But we're going to zoom in now, okay? Yeah. We're coming up on Lawrenceville. So I'm going to zoom in to say 20 mile range. Right, That's what we're going to be working, all right? Uh, I'm going to bring this into the 20 yeah. mile range. Which is good because LVL is at 25 miles now. Now set me up in the hold. Put that hold in there that he wants us to do. Hold us on the inbound leg, left turn, 10 mile legs. Put that in there. O2, LVL. Hold. Hold away for someone roll me a whiskey. You can contact Washington. I want left turns, 10 mile legs. Left turn. Have a good one. 26.75, uh, Potomac. Have a good one. One Romeo. Leg time. Yeah, Negative one. 10.377.11 for 10 mile turns. 10 mile Pick legs. 48, uh, Expect for the clearance, he said, at, um, 23. what do you say, 17. 17.30. Some weather over here at 25 miles. Now we got this bearing indicator. We just want to say we're going straight ahead for how many miles? 20? To Lawrenceville? 20, yeah, 20. So I'm going to turn the bearing light on, and it's this fat knob here. And I'm just going to put it straight ahead on us. Right. I got the tilt at zero, okay, for 15,000. Pretty close to the freezing level. What is the freezing level? We're a little bit cold, so it's a little bit lower, right? Right. All right, but this is close enough, right. all right? It's close enough, so it's good to know what the freezing level is. You're pointing to 15, but it does work. So, so here now, we can see the ground is at 15,000. Yeah, right. okay. Let's just do a gain cut on this. So number one, I'm doing it straight ahead. I just want to see going to Lawrenceville if we got anything in front of us for 20 miles. So nope, you, yeah, there you go. That's all, right. all we're doing. We're not doing the whole procedure. We're just looking to see if there's anything ahead of us for 20 miles. Anything? Nothing. Everything is less than what level? Uh, three. Everything is less than? Uh, two. Level two. When you do that, and take out the 16, all the moderate rain or less goes away. Got it. And you just truck on. Okay? Anything else that shows up on there is going to be a little bit heavier. I like that. And, yeah, that's awesome, okay? <laughs> I love that. And then, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we're clear ahead to Lawrenceville. Then when we get in the hold and we're going around and around, we'll get to see this weather, okay, as we come around. Okay. All right. How are we doing on the ice? Anything? Nothing. Nothing. The outside air temperature is what? Minus what? Minus one now. Minus, minus one. three. So what is the total air temperature of the aircraft? Have you ever heard of that? No. The total air temperature is the skin temperature of the airplane. Icing doesn't run on... Um, Set static air temperature. It runs on this temperature right down here. Do you see it? I see it. Plus five. So you're going to get ice at plus five? Uh, no. That all turbine powered airplanes in the world, except this one, run their icing on total air temperature. Okay? This one just happens to do static off the air data computer. So I would say, since we're going to be level at this altitude and we're not going to be changing, you can turn the boots off. All right. You can leave uh, the windshield off. 
only because we're level and the TAT is at plus five, all right? Right. If we were climbing or doing anything else, continuing on through the weather, then I'd have all the stuff back on. Okay, I found good. that in trip planning, utilities and trip planning, total air temperature, okay? That's how you run your ice for real. All turbine-powered airplanes are plus 10 or there less one, total air temperature the equipment goes on. And the ignition is always on when the ice is on in all commercial-powered turbine aircraft. All right? So that's good. So we can turn this back to auto. Make sure it clears the board. All right? And you're good. All right? So I'm doing that, only doing that because we're stuck at this altitude and I know the temperature and the TAT's plus five, all right? So now, coming up on LVL, how do what we you know like it's going to gonna hold? Well, uh, I can see it here on the screen. Okay. It's already planned. And where else on your flight plan does it show what it's going to do? How do we uh, verify? Right here. There you go, okay? So after LVL, there's a hold in there. Right. And it's armed. See how it's white? Right. This is the active yeah, leg, and this is armed. Uh, saying, I haven't done it yet, but I'm in there. Because, okay. you know, you've got me set up for that. More What's wrong with the radar right now? What step did we well, do? Well, the there line. you go. Probably Hit caliber. Uh, let me go uh, back. The controls are a bit difficult. There you go. Always, see it says down here, always return to caliber again. Because, see, you could fly along and you could fool yourself, you know. They're like, well, why don't I just fly around? No, you can't do that, all right? Because it masks uh, the true you, uh, uh, strength of what's going on. Because if you saw a little green at the 50, you might no, think that that's okay. Now, you know, that know what perfect. I mean? And you might go for it, but it's a level three. So you always want to return to this calibrated game. What speed do you typically, or power, do you like to run the holds on? Um, about 150, 150 knots, two and a half miles a minute. So I would say we could go to about 30 seconds out. About 50% power, 45, 50%. I like 150. If you hold at 120, it gets too steep in the turn when it's coming around, you know? Yeah. Now we're seeing a little bit heavier stuff over here. Why don't you uh, start on this, and I'm going to run this through for you. So, here we go. Step number one. I'm going to touch the bearing line, bringing it up. I push the cursor to get the bearing up. I'm going to move the bearing. We're in the turn now. I'm going to move the bearing over here into this yellow area and I'm going to go and say that's 20 right and that's 20 out. So 2020 says that stuff's seven miles off to the right. We're in the turn now. Right. But just for the show, so I've identified positionally. Now with the bearing line over, I'm going to hit vertical. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. This thing's showing death and destruction, but the radar's showing there's nothing there. Okay. Run out, buy all the bread, buy all the toilet paper. Life's done. Okay. And then we come back when we're done. All right. And if you want, you can just run your bearing indicator back to the center so you can do your, you know, I want to know if there's anything there as I'm turning. And we should see a bunch. According to this. Uh, well, like I told you. 50. 50 miles on this one. Oh. Oh. I think we got a nibble. Coming back over here. And look at that. That's a gain down at minus 16, which is bad. Back to calibrated gain. See this here? Uh, I got something right there. Are we on a straightaway now for a little bit? We are, right? Uh, so let's split those. Bearing's almost right dead center. Okay. United 1850 to 7850 200. Oh, so what's that's that? Ground. That's ground. What city is that? I'm guessing Raleigh. Right, right there. Oh, Lawrenceville. It's long, It's up in this area. See, we're headed. There's a little yeah. town or something right there. Right. Oh, we got faked out. But that's the beauty of having that vertical cut. Okay. I don't have to deviate around buildings and mountains and all right. sort of thing, you know. I know that those aren't weather. So then I go back to calibrated gain. And there's that little town at 20 miles. So the temperature um, is minus 2. And watch what happens when you slow the airplane down. Utilities, trip planning, the total air temperature gets colder. 
when you're flying this airplane at cruise airspeed, right. the total air temperature is 12 degrees warmer centigrade than that one. The total air temperature at cruise is going to be plus 10. This is going to say plus 10 when that says minus 2 at cruise. That's the friction that you get out of this airplane going through the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. That's the temperature of the skin if you touch it. That viscous drag, yeah. Okay, not this. This is the outside air temperature, which you use for performance and stuff like that. Some of the books use outside air temperature or total air temperature, right? And and that's another another lesson for another day, and it's a fabulous study. Okay, you see the 43 down, knots at the right, top? Right, uh, right. And it's moving, the arrows are moving that way. What speed are those arrows moving? moving at? What are those break up, break up, arrows? Go what altitude do they gauge all those arrows at when weather moves? 12,000. All the weather moves. At the top of the cell is 280 at 80 knots, and out of the south it's 180 at 15, gusting to 30. The whole cell is moving at the winds at 12,000 in that direction. That's generally how the weather works. Sensitivity of this will pick it up. Look at that. Let's find out what that is. Step number one, touch the bearing line, boom, move the bearing over the cell. Okay, so we're over here a little bit. We're on a straightaway now, yep. So we're on a straightaway, so I'm gonna split this here. Identify positionally, 10 degrees right, 40 out, 10 right, 40 out. That's six miles off to the right if you fly straight ahead, okay? To the center of that. Next, uh, where are our winds from? Our winds are from the left, so this is good. See this? The winds are from 55, so we're good. Um, next, with the bearing line centered, select scan vertical. Come on, baby, give us some hits. That's got a hit. Uh, it's a little bit in there, huh? How many miles out is that? Uh, looks like 35, 40, 40 miles. Yeah. 40 miles. And this, see, maybe there's a little something here. Right. PTB, there's a little bit of action there, right? Right. And here's our Not wind. Not much. 54 knots. Okay. So it's trying to be concentric. There might be a little something right there. See it at the yeah. 40 miles? Possibly. So I'm going to go back to horizontal and just see if I can get a gain hit on that. I'm going to slide it all the way down. 16 dBZ reduction. And then, oh, look at that. It's showing there's possibly something there. Right. So, I'm going to come back over here because I might say, well, you know what, I'm going to believe it. I'm going to scroll this in to 25 miles now, all right, because this stuff's going to be coming towards us on the next time around. Look at that. So, that should be weather. I'm on 25 here now. I'm going to scroll this one back in. So, you're constantly trying to keep up with the ranges and you stay ahead like i said like i told you stay ahead by um stay ahead by 10 miles like if you want to see the weather at 20 start it at 30 so when you get there it moves into your range you know always try and stay ahead of the weather in terms of setting your tilt for a range like if i want to set it at 40 what altitude are we at 15 what's always the tilt Zero. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the range is. Right. Until you get outside of 40, we have to do what? Sir, 901A, Julia Whiskey, Washington, Sir, Archer, thank you, yes. At four yes, degrees, tilt. Right. Okay. Get rid of the ground cover. Okay. Listen to him reporting the weather. And we're out here, and we can't find anything. Right. <laughs> okay. He's yeah. looking at this on his tube. Right. Not this. So this is 25, 30 miles. See that there, yeah. correlating with that? And we're losing it now. So let's go um, before. They used to do, before the next red, they used to do only radar. Yeah, the, that's oh. until they put tubes in one wire and gave everybody the same thing, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was yeah. a lot cheaper. So there's a vertical cut on that stuff we just went through. We saw the line. Sure. It's about 30. See, there's a little something there. Sure, yeah. That's it, though. Right.
nothing. Right. And we're right out here what should be the middle of a bunch of stuff. Right here, coming around now. We should see this stuff coming around the corner. Man, all that weather back there, how was it going through there? Um, how was the rain, the precip, and the ride, and uh, any toss you could give them? Uh, when we're going around, it was smooth. Uh, when the, and then the other stuff is just basically it's rain and heavy rain. That doesn't have a lot of definition. Uh, just a little bit of light chop. That was it. And uh, we did get some rain. After that, thank you. Have we gotten any rain at all yet? No. Never 4832, no. contact rally approach, 124495. Okay. So we're showing this little blob over uh, here, right? So once again, it's set. I'm going to cut it. I just want to know, is that weather over there or is it ground? Washington, uh, there's no one in Judea Whiskey. We'll log to descend to 3,000. Maybe around 40. Close. Or maybe a city, too, because you got to have equal, equal distance down and up. Yeah, so that's, that's a city. That's a town 40 miles out. I'm not sure which one. There. I think that town's probably around mid 20. Thanks, we see it on the radar. So the tops are around mid-20s, right? right? So we said the lifted index was minus 2. Yeah. I think the lifted index on tonight's will show that it's better because of that high. So what's happening is that lifted index being a higher number is going to cause less lifting action, and it's only getting the tops to 22, 23,000. If that high wasn't there and it was a minus seven the energy is available to make it all the way up through a level six right okay so that's why you want to be out there on a nice lifted index day when the rain is out there you're not going to have the energy to you know make a lot of bad cells you know right okay so that's good so i'm going to come back here to horizontal you want to do a quick run to roanoke yeah why not sure well what's this lwb is that liberty I have no well, idea. Let's see, the wind is blowing this way, so we want to go to Roanoke. Or right. this is Lynchburg, right? L-Y-H? Okay. So it's right at Lynchburg. Now we got... Go ahead. You know, we've had some fun here. Uh, there wasn't much action <laughs> here. And I don't seem to be biting. Is there any chance uh, we could just uh, stay on the radar training program and go towards Lynchburg? It looks like you might have a little weather out that direction. And he's saying, why would anybody want to go direct Lynchburg right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're going hunting, and now we're going to go. We left that area, no bites. But there was some good practice in determining that what looked like, you know, something, nothing was there. Right. All right? Here's Lynchburg, and it's showing some stuff just to the west. Heavy, right? Right. Let's go after hunting for that right there. Or five my I mean, that's it. There, five my might be advised. You got that weather right along here up here, eleven o'clock and one zero miles. Water to every precipitation area about uh, six miles in diameter. Okay, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. We should not be happy about that. <laughs> that's the way it goes. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're looking for. Okay. And that's what we're looking for. He says 11 o'clock. So the winds are blowing which way? Because he's so wrong. So that's it way over here. Yeah, it's probably at 10. It's probably at 10 o'clock and it's old. Uh, Washington, I just want to find something. Nine, something. Nine, here we go. Nine, nine, Tell me there's Washington, fishing. There's good fishing going on. I haven't caught anything yet. There it is. That's a city. It's that city. Okay, thanks, so we just, uh, going uh, we're going direct to uh, Franklin at this time. Okay. Yeah. So there's some city there. Nothing. Nothing as far as weather is concerned. And, oh, look, there's a little bit of rain. See it there popping okay, out a yeah. little bit there? Yeah. Just oh, yeah. a little bit, though. Yeah. Right? So we might see something on the windshield coming up here in 10 miles. should yeah, start to see rain on the windshield, if that's true. And we're minus 1. So the airplane is the airplane's a lot warmer. So if we come back here... Utilities trip plan, the airplanes at plus six. All right. So we're going to be good, okay? Yeah. Okay, for verification. So this looks kind of vicious over here. All right, so let's move our bearing line over that. So I take the push the button, brings up bearing. Let's come over to the vicious and split it, right? right. And then let's say it's 30 right. 
20 the shorter, out. The shorter one I can give you right now. 30, 20. We'll That's 10 so miles off to the right, but it's stretching meters. out here a little bit, okay? Sure, yeah. So yeah, we're yeah, just yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, Next. With it still there. Vertical cut. Okay. Well, then let, we got to push on the back side of the weather. I can't let you go uh, to the northeast. I got uh, restricted area active. And, on the, and uh, if we want to see like a three, straight five, ahead, I just uh, want to, we're playing, so I don't want to get caught. Ooh, there's some the maybe weather, up here. See go, it? Yeah. Ooh, out at 40 miles. Able. That I'm just, just going to stay there and do a quick hit on that one. Come on, that's a different day. Come on. Maybe. Maybe. Kind of both sides. Yeah. 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 And November 5, Mike, Mike, Roger. Uh, moderate to extreme precipitation about five miles west of Low Sec. It extends for about uh, 25 miles to the west of that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work perfect for us. Uh, do, a, do a test and order, new radar. Uh, All right. Hold it, Low Sec. L O S E C, it says right here. All right. So, our uh, en route. We're going to right, so L. Boy 380, you can resume normal, please. E C. C. And it's a right yeah. turn, 10 mile legs. We want that direct now, right? Uh, yes. Direct. Center. Excellent. Here. Uh, hold a waypoint. Right turns. Inbound. Okay, it was 44, yes. 48, Washington. Legs. Right. Moment. 10. Center on boy 3961, level 240. Yeah, 1800. Yeah, 1800 EFC. Center maintain for level 210, boy 3961. Done. On boy 3802 for higher contact, Washington Center 133.72. Okay. There you go. I see it. Got it. I believe it. Okay. Now, I'm here, and I'm down on the... Uh, Again, and this is what we have right there, flying straight ahead. Forty nautical miles out, and I'm like, Ugh. so if I come over here and I bring this one out to forty, so I can kind of get a little idea. So is it fifty miles? Say forty, okay. See it? So yeah. 40, and then uh, I'll come back on this one and go 40. I'll match them. Now, it's showing some action right here at like 25 miles. See it? Yeah. Or maybe about 40 from us, right? This is 40 from us. It's about 30 miles. It's showing a bunch of stuff over here at, at um, 10 o'clock, and it's moving towards, you know, away right. from us, all right, at low sec? Okay. So now we want to find out if this is true, okay? So let's come over here. See, I'm seeing like a little um, shadow there 30, 30, in this area. The yeah. Let's go over there. And then I'm going to go to the bearing line. And I'm going to run it over this thing. See if we're going to get some action out of this thing. And then I'm going to cut it. It's a 30 left, 30 out. 30 left, 30 out. 30, 30 is 15 miles to the left, okay? Okay. I'm going to take a vertical cut at that point. I want to see this picture. There's your action, dude. Okay. Now you're yeah. on, you okay? Like 25 miles. Okay? 25 miles. There you go. So now that's real. So then we'll come back. We'll go to horizontal, and we'll do a gain cut. 16 dBZ on the loss. So now, if you have a 16 dBZ down, I missed that last one, Fagan. And you're still showing all this green. green. She's plus that, well, it's, it's probably level three or above. If you if you come all the way down in this yellow there, nasty. There's probably level five. Right. If you come all the way down in this yellow and red there, right. then it's a level six. That's all you can do. You can't measure it, okay? You just have to see that 
each level of the video output and reflectivity of 10 dBZs is going to equal another level of strength in the weather cell, in the six levels of weather, okay? So, now I see a little something up in here close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Baron back over here, over this little booger, and I'm going to run the scroll in to 10-mile range. So I thought I saw a little something. You see if it's true. There it is. I saw him right there. So now I'm going to see him. He's left 20, and he's 10 out. He's left 20, 10. He's three miles off to the left, and we're going to be making a right turn, okay? Let's check him now. This is cool. Here we go. I do my vertical cut. Got to bite. Reel him in, dude. There it is. See that? We got him. He's on the hook. All right? Yeah. So now he's on the hook, and let's see what kind of strength he has. He's, a, he's biting a little bit. I can feel it, but he's not bending the rod completely. So let's go and take the barren indicator, get a little bit better on the center there, and let's do a calibrated gain. There it is right there. There it is. So there's your picture, and then here is your vertical cut one more time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Okay. All right? So now we're going to go back to horizontal, and we're going to do a calibrated gain, and we're going to come all the way down on it. It's three miles over there. Yeah. So hang on a little bit. Going slow. So let's go right. Right turn. Give me a right heading, bud. Go heading. Select heading. Oh, we're good now. We're good now. All right. Right. No, no we're not. <laughs> Just a little more to the right. It's a little stronger. Okay. That's good right there. That's good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to calibrate again. Say goodbye to that one. See, I knew that one was there when I saw that little circle, okay? Right. And I moved in on it, okay? What do we got here? Nothing. Okay, so we're good. A little bounce. Everybody's nervous. We knew there was a cell off there. How many miles off to the left was it? Three. Three miles. Three miles with the wind coming straight down. So it wasn't helping us like it was an upwind turn. Right. It was going straight by us. So three miles, that strength of cell at this lifted index gave you that little kiss. I got you. So I think on that cell, if you had to go by five miles off, you would have only had this. Yeah. All right. Okay. you drift back to low sec. I'm going to drift back to low sec. And then I'm going to take sh make sure, as I come around, I'm going to slide my gain down to keep that screen black. Black. There's a booger out there. Okay. So it's going to be a little tight on us, okay? But I'm trying to get that a little bit of action there on it. So that right there is a 10. So I know there's something there. So I'm coming out to the 20. And I know... That we're at what altitude? 14. So this is what? Following the line. Uh, the ground return. 14, See it? But yeah. this one over here is the weather. Okay? Right. So I'm going to go back to calibrate again. Yeah, see, it's red. And so there's uh, another red. You don't know what strength this is. We know this is what on the outside? Ground. Because all you got to do, all you got to do is go vertical. If you're not sure, you're flying around weather. Ooh, ooh, there is something up there at what? Uh, seven, uh, about 12, 12 miles. miles. How many miles we got to low sec? Uh, four and a half. Okay, so we're not going out there into that, okay? Yeah. We're going to be making our turn in here. I'm flying along, I got a little less power. I like 150. 47, 48. Yeah, somewhere around there. Just in case we get a little bumpity bump bump. And that's another big deal when you're flying around in weather. Yeah. It should, I, I would say, slow down so you can enjoy it, but no one's going to believe me. You know <laughs> what I mean? All right, so here we are, 12 o'clock, and every once in a while you just want to slide that bearing indicator down to see what's coming up ahead of you. And if it shows up, it's like you got a little bit of green, okay, you're going to be coming into some weather there. Yeah, we're you, making our turn now, so it's good. And you're making your turn, you can run the range down a little bit, right? Yeah. Run the range down a little bit, 
and you can go back to calibrate again and do a yeah, vertical right. cut Bravo, on as what was right in front of you. Right. See it? Bravo, right. it? It was a little bit there. See, we're in it. A little bit. Stuck my... No, no, that's the static from that cell. Really? That's the static electricity from that cell. Busted through the shielding on your radio. All right, so now we're coming around the corner, and I want to know, is there anything around the corner? I just slide this thing down. How are we looking? Good so I far. feel good coming around the corner, all right? Right. You always do that. Just don't turn and hope there's yeah. nothing there. And I'm not talking about bad level five, level six. I'm even talking about level two and level three showers. Sure, yeah. You know what I mean? I'll wait. I'll delay my turn. Even if I'm in the hold, I'll go to heading, delay my turn, go around it, and then come back to the hold, all right? Right. Okay? Don't need to stay on course. When you're in a hold, you just got to come back up on that fix. It doesn't really have to be a perfect racetrack. That's just the way it's drawn. Gotcha. All right? Let's go back now to calibrate again, and let's look at our picture, and it looks ugly, right? Yeah. So you're like, ugh. Now I see something over here, a little to the right. Let's run the Baron over there. Okay. Let's run the range in a little. Now watch this. See this sector scan? Yeah. I want to play over here. I can't wait till that whole thing goes all the way across the whole thing. So there's 40. Okay. And the sweep is faster. Right. Okay? So then, and that runs off the center of the Baron indicator. Okay. So if I move the uh, Baron indicator over, moves with me. it moves with you, all right? So then I go scan 20, and that's my smallest scan. Bang, bang, bang. See it? Yeah. I do that on the ILSs when I'm flying a weather because I'm only concerned what's in front of me. Right. Okay, so then I do here, I'll do a vertical cut inside that picture. It is. Yeah, it's real. It's real, okay? And it's from 10 to 15 miles. So I go back, I go back to horizontal, and I take my calibrated gain, and down I go. Yeah, see yeah. there's a little action over there. Sure, so yeah. now we determine... On this heading, are we going to go by it? And at 10 miles, when are we going to turn? Are we going to turn before it? We're so that's what you can, we're going to turn before it, right? And we're at five. And we're at five. So we're only going five more miles, right? And there's the picture outside if yeah. you want to show it outside. That look good. Okay. And there's a picture to the right for what we're showing here. Okay. And nothing. You can't see it on there. Okay. But it's just a gloomy day out there. Now, this here is showing we're going to be making a right turn. Here's one here. Let's try this one. That one looked kind of juicy. Oh, no, we're turning. That's right. Here's some juicy ones here. See them? Yeah. I'm going to cut these bad boys right here. So, boom. Boom. I felt a little oh, nibble. Yeah, there they are. There it is, man. That's a keeper. Yeah. All right? Reel that one in. Okay, We're that's gonna... at seven and a half miles. See you later. We're out of here. Right. Okay, very nice. Back to horizontal and slide it down and go, yep, we ain't going there. Oh, there's some yellow in it. See it? Yeah. So that's up there. That one will put white, white caps on your coffee. I promise you. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we avoid. And we're in tight, okay? On the... We got some stuff we're going to walk into, it looks like. Oh, no kidding. 12 o'clock? Okay, so let's go with the Baron. Get the Baron back ahead, right in front of us, and split it. And then calibrate it, just to see what's in front. Anything? No. Nothing. Washington, it's number okay. So that's where you rebate the hook. Yeah, Reel it in, we got one. Let's go back, November put some new bait on it, let's go find another one. Split that in two. Oops, it's gone. Yeah, let's go over here. Put that uh, scan vertical. And so there's a the little bit of light rain yeah. up on top, okay? Right. But we know that that little bump is ground. Something on the ground there. Right. Very nice. Back here, horizontal. Take your gain. Drop. 
We are uh, about five miles more to go. Okay. We have something in that five mile range, actually. Okay, so you can scroll in a little bit on the range then. Because you're only doing the next, yeah, so the five, ten miles, that's good. And then run your bearing slightly off to the right because you're going to be turning and do a, do a uh, gain reduction just to make sure your turn's going to be clear. There you go, 45 or whatever, you know, you're going to be going in that direction. So this is kind of giving you a heads up on the gain. Slide it down because there is something five miles ahead. See it? Uh, sure, sure. But we're going to turn, right? Yeah. How many miles we got to low sec? So what I would do here is I'd go heading and do your 180 right now. Do you see the lightning? Yeah. Go 60 heading for now. So that's this guy over here sparking. Go back to calibrate again. And leave it on the 10 mile range. This looks like it's just closing in on us a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's trying to trap us. So why don't we go out to um, move over to Calvin. Calvin. Number 915, Mike. Mike, Roger, thank you. Okay. Piedmont, uh, 5973, clear to Linden. You Temperature, can come in the plus one, so it's a little warmer. Oh, see if that's anything out there, or that's just ground. You're right on the split, so we might as well just cut her. Yep, uh, horizontal, vertical. Timber 837 Washington, Center uh, Roger, and uh, oh. about two zero. Maybe a little rain. Maybe a little rain, Maybe a little rain at uh, eight, eight miles. Uh, in and there. then on this, like I don't see anything at eight miles, miles, right? Miles right. There. Okay. So let's go back to horizontal. And let's make sure we're calibrated gain. And that big red blob up there, most of that is. I got something out here, and that's moving. Look at the wind up here now. 67 in our Number face. Number 805, Bravo, Ooh, Lima. What about contact that one? Washington Center on 134.4. Uh, 34.4, 805, Bravo, Lima. Yeah, that looks real. Oh, that's real. How many miles? 12. 12. Oh, excellent. How strong is it? Uh, well, hold on. Horizontal. Calibrated down. Ooh, ooh, it's got a little action in it. Yeah. So what I would do, I don't do the full hold. Yeah. Okay. Take I would, turn. I would, you know, you know, we're 10 miles from it, right? I, yeah, but, actually seven, six or seven. Yeah. So we need to go ahead and make yeah, the turn. Yeah, go ahead. You make the turn, intercept inbound. Very good, all right? Don't just let it fly it, all right? Yeah. Make your decisions and make the move. If it sticks you in the hold. And then go back to calibrated gain, too. So you keep an eye on the reality.